yeah so with this we can take up the questions relating to what we have discussed right now so we discussed the basic uh, needs for the human being for the body for the self um the food the clothes uh, what about the higher needs what about other <clears throat> needs see we have discussed about all the needs that human being has right and there are of two category need of the self and need of the body so what is said as higher needs is basically relating to the needs of the self so for example psychological needs the emotional needs the need of self actualization all this you know which maslow will keep mentioning all these basically are the need of the self and we are talking about all of them in fact the highest need is this state of continuous happiness of the self right when you are saying psychological needs or emotional needs you are talking about self being in a state of happiness you know at least some time or most of the time but not all the time when you are saying self actualization you are essentially talking about the self being in a state of continuous happiness right and that can be ensured only by this self actualization only by ensuring this understanding of harmony at all levels of our being only by realization of you know the whole existence as coexistence as harmony as relationship so this is the highest possibility of human being where he has realized this coexistence this harmony this relationship in the whole existence that is the state of you know knowledge state of realization state of you know complete harmony within and with the whole existence and that is the state of bliss and when we are saying continuous happiness it includes all this as we said you know, in last sessions we were talking about this continuous happiness you know and we said that it includes the peace the satisfaction the bliss you know. because continuous happiness means you are in a state of harmony all through starting from yourself to your body to your family members to the society and everything the whole existence so all these higher needs are included they are included when we are talking about the need of the self and when we are talking about the need of the body these lower needs or what we call as physical needs are fulfilled even with these lower needs um do we really need to segregate it into self and body because we like when we are talking of food the we say that the body needs food but i also like tasty food so it yes. is kind of mixed up um like you said for clothes that you are trying to get respect out of clothes um so it's difficult to tease out there are so many things like this is it necessary to split this up into body and self yeah it is very much necessary otherwise we'll have that gross misunderstanding that we talked about <laughs> and we will get into the loop in mm. a loop of feeling deprived and then accumulating more and more right there for exploiting others getting into corrupted means corruption you know and at the end of it still feel that you know we have not accumulated unlimited see the point is that unless you see this two different needs you know two diff type different types of needs and that they can be fulfilled you will try to fulfill both the needs with you know same type of input and that is what we are doing we are trying to fulfill the need of happiness need of respect by way of physical facility mm. and once you get into this problem 
there is no way for you to get out of it and you are creating problem for yourself and for the whole society ultimately the whole nature even take this example which we were just discussing the need for clothes now if you relate to this need of the to this uh, to the need of the body then you can decide how many clothes how many pairs of clothes you require to protect your body from heat from cold so suppose there are three seasons okay for every season you need something like four four pairs of clothes for winter for you know rainy for you know summer so you need 12 pairs of clothes right? that you can always find out the 12 pairs of clothes would do for me but now <clears throat> suppose you want to get respect from people through the clothes how many clothes do you require to ensure continuity of respect from others you will never be able to decide so you are in trouble you know every time you go for a party this kitty party now has become very you know this thing common so every time you go for a party you need a very different kind of you know clothes different you know sari i remember one of my friend whom i met in jhabua madhya pradesh he uh, then was the education uh, you know uh, uh, what you call it i mean he was looking after this adult uh, adult education at that time it was quite CEO. popular and when we were discussing <clears throat> he said 25% of my you know uh, salary goes for buying this sarees you know which are required for the kitty parties so every week there is a kitty party and it is believed that if you go in the same saree that you went last time or any old saree people will not respect so every time you have to go with a new sari and if you buy four sarees in month then 25% of your salary goes for buying sarees and this man at that time was supposed to be one of the corrupt man you know in the uh, department and when this he went through the workshop and all these discussions were going on one of the days his wife you know she was also attending the workshop she said that now i can understand you know that i already have so much of clothes you know so she it seems that she went and checked you know and she found that she has almost 200 sarees and she was saying that if i you know use let's say four sarees in a year you know uh, then i have enough for 50 years and every time i go to uh, our parents you know they give two sarees twice in a year i get two sarees i keep getting anyway so like that she realized that she doesn't have to keep buying these sarees you know and this respect anyway she cannot maintain the continuity by wearing sarees you know new saree every time in the kitty party so we have to differentiate you know differentiate between these two needs needs related to the body and needs related to the self once we are able to separate these two then we can see that the fulfillment of the need of the self does not call for physical facility it calls for right understanding and right feeling for which we are not doing anything all of our education today you know 20 years of education by the time you do your graduation you have spent 20 years and this 20 years the education is not talking about right understanding and right feeling which is the basic need of the self right and more important need than the need of the body only so what are we talking about no nothing so if we are able to see them differently understand them then we can certainly you know work for them and once you start working for the need of the self need of the consciousness you can see that it can be fulfilled you know it can be fulfilled for everyone and it does not really call for physical facility it only calls for proper education proper sanskar right 
which can be ensured by the parents, which can be ensured by the teachers, which can be ensured by the whole society. Uh, it's, you know, we are saying that it is necessary to distinguish these needs, but so many times uh, they are so interconnected, like we need a higher salary for, you know, when we have children and we want to educate. Now, education is a need of the self, but um, money is something that is uh, physical. So um, how to um, distinguish this now, whether we need the money for uh, the body or we need the money for the self, for education also we need money, uh, health also we need money, so. Yeah, true. In fact, what has happened is that we are already into the loop. <laughs> We are already into this vicious loop, right? Now everything has become so difficult. You can remember when you did your high schooling you know, or schooling, even your graduation, your MBBS, right? What was the fees? <laughs> Hardly. And what is the fees now? Yes. Right? It has become 20 times, 50 times, even 100 times, right? Mm. Now, what is the reason? The reason is that at uh, that time, these teachers, you know, the society, they felt that education is a responsibility of the teacher, of the society. And they were not expecting much physical facility from there. Now, these teachers, think that they have to, you know, kind of meet out that unlimited facility. So they are ever asking for more and more salary, right? which is justified. Once you get into this loop, it is all justified. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> then where does it come from? Then it comes from the fees. So fees has increased, right? Now, because fees has increased, now you need more money. Because you need more money, therefore you have to have more salary. Now this is the loop we are getting in. Now the fees has increased. <clears throat> okay. So if by the time you become a doctor, you have spent lakhs and crores of rupees. If you get into a private medical college, then you know your expenditure will run into crore by the time you complete your MD. And you have taken educational loan or you think you have invested. So you want to now exploit the patient. So you know what is what has happened to this medical profession, which was at one time was considered to be a very pious profession. So all this will happen. So we have we are already into the loop. Therefore, we cannot justify being there in the loop because we are already in the loop. We have to think in terms of how we come out of this loop. There is no solution within this loop. Mm -hmm. So health, for example, today has become a big problem. You know, you don't know how much how 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 much money you would be needed when you fall sick. Mm. So you may fall sick worth fifty lakhs or one crore or any amount. You know that this nursing home will decide, and at the end of it, you will not get the health. You will only get some you know, uh, mode of how to keep dealing with this disease, True. isn't it? True. You know, you are in the medical profession, so you have, you know, faced the burnt of all this. And if you are not cooperating with these doctors in exploitation, you are singled out. They have but made the helpless. system such that... Huh? They have made the system such that uh, it has become the norm now. Yes, than... yes, and they are helpless. I mean, I would not even blame them. I know once you are into this loop, you can't help yourself unless you are a very strong person, you know, with have a lot of clarity and a lot of commitments. Very difficult. So, we have to understand this that they are very different types of need and they have to be fulfilled differently. And once we understand and we start working for fulfilling them differently, it becomes much simpler much simpler.
in fact people who are you know we have been going through who have been going through this process this realize that you know the need for physical facility is so less right and that they have all, they already have more than what is required so they immediately feel this feeling of prosperity you know so i keep saying that many people become prosperous you know during the workshop during these eight days not because they accumulate more physical facility but they realize that the need of physical facility is anyway very limited and they already have far more this lady for example you know she can see that she has enough for 50 years and probably she may not even live for more than 50 years and she will keep getting anyway now this realization that one is already prosperous makes all the difference with this prosperity you start thinking of sharing rather than you know exploiting others and when you start working on this need of the self through right understanding and right feeling right you are able to <coughs> see things much better and feel much better and therefore fulfill your relationship in a much more better manner both with human being and with rest of nature then you are doing otherwise so this is a very basic thing to be able to see this self and body as two different things their needs being different and these needs being fulfilled differently very important coming to feelings are feelings only in the self or do they have some effect on the body also like we say that we are feeling prosperous uh, but prosperous is related to the body or i feel healthy so like that uh, see as we saw that this self is there and the body is there and there is this transaction taking place between the self and the body right so self is giving some instruction to the body and self is reading some sensation from the body right if i can see this then you know we can understand what you are asking you know number one the feeling is in the self the feeling of for example respect feeling of affection feeling of care right all these feelings are there in the self and this feeling of care includes the feeling of care towards one's own body so you have this feeling of care for your own body right the self has this feeling now under this feeling of care the self will take the responsibility of nurturing the body protecting the body and ensuring the right utilization of the body right and when it is able to see that yes it is possible for me to take care of the body it will be in a state of harmony within and happiness within if it feels that i am i will not be able to take care of my body so that feeling of care you know, is you know, not likely to be fulfilled then the self feels troubled about it now this feeling of prosperity you know the feeling of prosperity means this feeling that i have a limited need of physical facility for ensuring the nurturing protection and right utilization of the body <laughs> and that i have either already have more than what is required or i can ensure producing more than what is required then i will have this feeling that yes i can take care of my body so that feeling of prosperity essentially is that i can take care of my body and i can produce more than what is required right and therefore i can even take care of the body of others that sharing you know sharing with others other family members and also sharing with whoever comes to my house so feeling is there in the self but it relates to the feeling you know about the body about my own body without about my about the body of the other 
so I can have a feeling of care for my child. But when I go to fulfill that, you know, uh, feeling, I have to take care of the need of the body. And there comes the, you know, role of physical facility, which is related to the need of the body. So prosperity is a feeling in the self. And it relates to this feeling of care right, in the self. And when you try to fulfill this feeling of care in the self, at the level of body, you have to fulfill the need of the body. And to fulfill the need of the body, you require physical facility. So I can do two things. I can see that this physical facility, which is required for nurturing this body, you know, protecting this body, is required in a limited quantity. So I can identify the need of physical facility. And I can also see that I already have more than what is required. Or probably I can produce more than what is required because the nature already has that provision. Then I will have this feeling of prosperity. But this feeling of prosperity is in the self. When it comes to human-human relationship, right? then these feelings are what is important. And there, it is not related to physical facility. So I may have feeling of affection, feeling of relationship with one, with many, with everyone. So that is what we are saying. We are saying that ultimately we can have feeling of you know, love for everyone. So with that feeling, I will be in a state of harmony within and happiness within. And I will think of how to fulfill that relationship. That is what is compassion. So an unconditional acceptance of relationship, which is love. And then this readiness, this commitment, this thought of fulfillment of relationship, that is called compassion. So I can have this feeling of love and feeling of compassion for everyone. And with that feeling, I am in a state of harmony and happiness within. So even if I don't have any physical facility at this moment of time, I can have that feeling. And with that feeling, right, I can see that I can produce more than what is required. And I have to consume only what is required. Right, and share the rest with others. This um feeling with others and with human beings uh, uh, is okay but uh, coming back to uh, with the body like we say things like you know uh, i have a gut feeling or i can feel it in my bones so uh, that yeah uh, i i can feel it f from the bottom of my heart and things like that so that causes some confusion whether Feelings are there in the body also. There are sensations in the body, right, which self is able to read. So sensation is there in the body, which self is reading. And by reading that sensation, those sensations, it concludes something about the status of the body. Now, whether you want to call that feeling or not, I mean, I will leave it to you. I will call it some happening in the body. And that happening is what I'm calling a sensation, which self is reading. And from that information, self is concluding something about the body. Mm. So right. perhaps uh, because I'm not able to see the self, then whatever I am uh, able to, the sensation I am reading from that particular place, I feel like that the feeling is there, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So what I would say is that what we need to do is to start observing, you know, what is happening in the body, what is happening in the self, and see whether what is happening in the body should be called sensation or called feeling. Similarly, whatever is happening in the self, 
that we should call a sip you know feeling or sensation mm. or whatever name you give you know i mean interesting thing is that are these two things you know or they are you know same thing what is happening in the body at the level of body as a physical phenomena and what is happening at the level of self as an activity of the consciousness these two have to be understood you know looked into and understood whether they are same or they are different if they are different what is the interaction between the two right mm. so this feeling is in the self and because <coughs> there is a coexistence between the self and body i may reflect this feeling at the level of body right mm-hmm. so if i send some instruction to the body it will have an effect on the body and this sending this information may be consciously i am doing or unconsciously i am doing as it stands most of the time we are very unconscious you know about it and we keep you know sending the information the example i was taking you know when you get angry right who is getting angry the self or the body right that you can see mm. and when the self gets angry the breathing of the body becomes abnormal the heart beat of the body becomes abnormal now this is because the self is sending this instruction to the body which is quite unnecessary and the self is angry it does not really want the body to get you know unhealthy you know mm-hmm. to disturb the peace and the pace of the breathing or heart beat but it happens because you are so unconsciously related to the body and you have you seem to have no control over it so you keep sending instruction to the body and body keeps getting disturbed yes yes similarly Now, if we become aware of this whole phenomena mm. then we will get angry at the level of self you can keep the body in normal pace because we don't have to give instruction to the body i mean if i want to fight using body then it is it makes sense to give inf- you know sense instruction to the body but if you are just angry within and not fighting then why disturb the body <laughs> if i had that much awareness i think i wouldn't be angry only <laughs> yes that is next question then why get angry at all but now what i'm saying that even if you get angry why do you want to disturb the pace of the breathing of the body why do you want to increase the you know heart beat of the body which you are doing unconsciously mm-hmm. so this awareness awareness every moment of the self the activity of the self what is happening in the self is very important then we will be able to understand what is happening in the self and how it is transacting with the body true i was just thinking of another example that uh, uh, before we started the session uh, the some talk was going on so uh, we often say that we we at least assume that we think with the brain yes whenever we say we are thinking we think that it's happening in the head yes true yes in fact see if we don't have this notion of self clear to us and if we cannot see it ourselves then everything has to be put in in the body where do you place it otherwise mm-hmm. the self is not there for you then everything that is happening at the level of self or any transaction between the self and body has to be placed in the body it only and that is what we are doing in the name of medical science and we were talking about that day you know neuroscience and true on these things yes yes um biology. yeah biology uh when we are talking of feelings um what do we mean exactly when we say right feeling can a feeling 
which is right for me be wrong for someone else also see this is something which uh, you know we have to go on verifying when we were discussing about this process of exploration self exploration we said that we can ask ourselves you know what is naturally acceptable to us particularly what is naturally acceptable to me the feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition you know what is my natural acceptance feeling of relationship feeling of relationship and that is what we are calling as affection you know? the feeling of opposition is what we are calling as jealousy mm. now we can ask ourselves what is naturally acceptable to us the feeling of affection or feeling of jealousy feeling of affection yeah so whatever is naturally acceptable to us is the right feeling mm -hmm. number one number two if this is the de you know where we define right feeling the feeling which is naturally acceptable to me and which gives rise to harmony and happiness within then you can we can check whether our natural acceptance is same for all of us or there are some people for whom feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable and there are some people for whom feeling of opposition is naturally acceptable but all these people like terrorists and all they don't seem to have uh, any kind of right feeling for others see in fact if you look at this terrorist on for that matter anybody you know doing violence you would see that they are doing violence you know because they feel related to some set of people so for them they are doing violence and they are doing violence against those people whom they think are not conducive for the well being of this set of people so this terrorist you know if you see they are willing to give away their life you know their body at the cost of you know what we th what we think they think you know is good for their relatives i can say quote and quote so these people you know they feel very uh, kind of uh, sympathize towards the poor people you know, and they think that the rich are exploiting the poor people okay and therefore i must do something for it so when you become an exploit you are certainly putting your life you know or at least your body into danger so this is out of the feeling you know of affection for some set of people only thing is that this feeling has not widened to the feeling of love if that happens yes this famous you know examples we keep from listening not only of buddha but many of these people who came across these people who were quite violent quite a kind of disturbance for the society and they got converted you know they became saints at their time this is possible because that natural acceptance for the right feeling is already there but it is limited to certain people certain realities it has not become general wide and universal so even these people who are doing violence if you come in contact with them and you know talk to them and share with them and they start sharing with you then you would realize that they are very good people at one at one place of their self but they are not able to see that this feeling is something which has to be broadened you know and be everywhere not selective i mean just think if somebody is piercing a needle in your body you feel so much of pain and you try to avoid it but these people are able, willing to give away their body their life at the cost of whatever they think is right mm. 
isn't it when we are saying right understanding how do we go about developing it like we did this exercise uh, about listing our desires and uh, we find that most of our needs are needs of the self but we are trying to fulfill these needs through some physical facility so we can understand the need for right understanding from this but how to go about developing this right understanding within us See, this is what we are i mean you know going to talk about all through this course so we said that to ensure continuity of happiness we have to understand the harmony at all levels of our being right to understand the harmony and to live in harmony at all levels of our being so this is what we are going to do ensure this understanding in this self by understanding the harmony at all levels of our existence which begins with understanding the individual the human being then understanding the harmony in the family then harmony in the society harmony in nature and harmony in existence so if we can see this you know by our direct observation then we will say that yes we have understanding understanding of you know our whole existence the total experience of our existence as a human being so this is what we will do as we go along <clears throat> and we have started with this you know trying to understand the harmony in the human being harmony in the individual right and as a detailing of that we are saying that human being is coexistence of self and body and if we want to ensure harmony in the human being then we have to ensure harmony in the self harmony in the body and harmony between the self and the body so this we will try to explore we we'll look into harmony in human in the self then harmony at the level of body then harmony of the self with the body so like that we will go on okay thank yeah, so you